Hi, Gary Brown from Tackle Tactics. Today I'm going to show you how I rig up a whole fish, in this case a pilchard. Could be a yellow tar, could be a slimy mackerel, right. could be a garfish, right. on a set of gang hooks. Now I keep my gang hooks all together in one tackle box. It's very hard to see it, but I have four by four. So four by four means I have four hooks and they're four O's. Three by four is I have three hooks and they're three O's. Two by two, right. two hooks by two O's. So for different species of bait fish that I'm going to use. And in those, rather than have them come out as a big mess, what I do is that I tie them up with a little twisty. So I twist it out of a, you know, it could be out of one of your freezer bag packs. And that way then, that they all fold out nice and easy and they're not just laying in the tackle box and getting all hooked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rig that up right, to suit this pilchard. As you'll see, Right, you most of you look at it and say, well, there's one hook too many. I'm going to show you how to have a swinging hook at the end. So when rigging it this way, what you do is that, not your first hook, the bottom hook, but your next one up, you put it into the pilchard, but remembering that what you've done before that, so that you've got a bit of an idea where it's going to go, you've done a bit of a measurement, right, and you know, well, okay, if I put that hook in there, that position, the top hook is going to go through the eye, the fish's eye, which is what you want. So there you have it, pilchard's rigged, it's nice and straight, and you have this swinging one down here. So sometimes when you get them they do what they call short strikes, the fish will get hooked up on here. What you'll also find if I turn it around is that the hook point and barb on each of them is outside of the pilchard. It's better than having it buried in the pilchard. So hence why you have to have Maybe 6 O's, 7 O's, 5 O's, 4 O's, 3 O's, 2 O's, 1 O's. So that if you were to put in, in this particular pilchard, you were to put, say, a 2 O, the 2 O hook in the gape, right? It would then bury into the bait. So hence why on this one I've got 4 O's. On this one, once again, it's got the little twisty up the top. And what I do is I just throw these into the rubbish. And in this case, I've got three hooks, which are five O's, and I have on the top a swivel. So that will take away a lot of the line twist, especially when you have a turn down eye right, for the top hook. So in this case, this is a mustard 4202. If you were to put a mustard 4200, it wouldn't have a turn down eye on it. So rigging at this one, right, we're going to have three hooks in it and you'll find that this case right putting it that way bringing it that way right what happens is that the last one in that tail is too short so I'm going to rig it the same way as I did the other one and that means that I've just got to move the first hook down a little bit further towards the tail 
push it up, push it through, put it up and into the eye, and there you have it. And there it is, it's rigged with one that's on a swivel. But there's no swinging hook down here. So what you could use is that you could tie this to the end of your line, cast it out, and then retrieve it back in, right towards you. Or you can throw it out, let it sit in the current, right, and then just sit in the current and just work slightly from side to side. The other way that you could rig it is that you could rig the pilchard we'll call it back to front. But it's not really back to front. So in this case, I'm going to use three hooks. So once again it's three gang hooks. And you see what I talk about here, see this is a straight eye right, compared to the other ones that were turned down eyes. So that's for the top hook. Using your favourite knot to tie it on. So in this case what I'm going to do is instead of rigging it that way so that we can pull it in this way or we'll let it sit in the current, I'm going to rig it the other way. So the first hook is going to go into the eye, making sure that you clear any rubbish off it. Second hook is going to go into the body. The third hook's going to go into the body as well. And that's the way it sits. Right, with the line up here. And the hook points are out. But what I do with this one is I might port a little small running sinker onto the hook down here, onto the top of it. And then I'll throw it out the back of the boat in the burly trail and I'll just let it swim slightly swim, it doesn't really swim, right, but it goes down with the current and it goes down and you let it go down slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly down through the burly trail and through the current out the back of the boat. So that way you've rigged it in reverse. I wouldn't rig it like this if I threw it out, say off the beach or the rocks and I was winding it back in for some tail or some salmon, right, I wouldn't bring it in that because there's not too many fish. There are a couple I know of that's backwards, but pilchard don't. So there you have it. Gang hooks on a whole bait, remembering that it's either a pilchard or a garfish or a, a yellowtail or a slimy mackerel or a white bait. Right? You just have to change the hook sizes. That's why you need so many different sizes to be able to cut 